Hi Aquarius, how are you? I still have a very large extended read that I'm gonna do for you that I'm gonna post this month. Um, the full moon was up, which was a very intense one. Definitely check on it. And um, you know, I'm going to be pulling also um, a few more reads, but this is your singled and troubled in love. If you're not singled or troubled in love, this is likely not going to um, apply to you. Um, so, because that's how I interpret these ones, okay? I'm going to pull a Celtic cross today. I hope you're doing well. Um, you've been on my mind a lot, even though I didn't do your extended read yet. The sun is popping out. Is happiness on your mind? Um, you've been on my mind a lot because I, you know, I've been working on my research, you know, which is, you know, studying a bunch of charts from here to the end of Pluto's phase. Um, in Aquarius since it's entering next uh, March and I'm going to be doing a special next month so you guys may not get your super long extended next month you'll just get the shorts um, because I'm going to be covering Pluto's move into Aquarius and doing you know a specialty zone reading for every single sign kind of like I did for Love and War of the Gods okay um, you are starting here with the Seven of Pentacles So you have mind on your money and your money on your mind and you're popping on me. Having to do with ending a marriage <laughs> or getting married or investing in marriage. Oh shit, you're popping on me today. Okay, what you got going on here? <sighs> Tower. Justice. Jesus. What you got? I just, I mean, hey, this is singled and troubled in love. This is not, okay. This is not, uh, you know, for the happy go lucky single or, uh, all right. Knight of Cups. You're thinking about bringing a love offer to somebody, but you're worried about it like blowing something up or you're worried about possibly a Scorpio, okay? Um, you may be dealing with somebody that has um, a predominant Libra and or Scorpio as a sun, moon, rising, okay? Um, or you could. Whew. I feel like you're dreaming about something you really want here, okay? Um, on the love front, okay? I see you thinking about being Lancelot here. But with all this energy, what's this? What's this about? Mm -hmm. um, something here that you manifested in the past, you're still dealing with. I don't know what happened yet. Oh, you are popping all over the freaking board with me. You got some somebody with some fire in their chart, like in your general vicinity or possibly um, up ahead, okay? And I see you in like fight mode or train mode, okay? Now you could be in couple therapy, all right? But for the majority of you, you could be ready, you could be like um, fighting. Okay, or in a fight stance, or ready to fight for someone that you really, really want. Something of this sort. Okay. Um, I see a hope and a fear around the Seven of Cups. That tells me that you are hoping that your beliefs, um, that you're not like viewing a mirage, possibly when it comes to somebody. Okay. Um, I have a Page of Wands, Strength, and the Eight of Cups here. There may be something related to a child and or news that you need like a lot of strength to, you know, um, to be able to battle or walk away from. You, you know, it may be in, involving somebody or, or, or news involving a child here. Okay, but I'm going to take a look. And you, you, Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Um, I do feel like some of you um, are involved or an offer of some sort because you popped with the offer over here too. And with this nine of cups on your mind, like either you're thinking about somebody's offer that was already made to you or you're thinking about making an offer yourself, but offering like your love to someone else, okay? Romantically, you know what I mean. Um, but with justice down here, it's like... With the fates and the creatrix um, back here in the background, which is the magician, um, I'm feeling as if you are like, um, 
going through or you went through something that couldn't be changed because you manifested it or you did it. Like something you felt like you bore responsibility for, um, that was some sort of decision in the past or something like this, um, you were involved with and it kind of like left you feeling, yeah, Ace of Cups is in the reverse there, okay. Um, some of you could have lost some old um, soul tie or love here in the past, um, quite possible. Um, it could be because somebody with air in their chart interfered or this, you know, this is you. So um, Mother of Swords is also you. Um, some of you guys um, may have manifested, gotten back together with an ex and then it didn't work out. Okay. Um, or, you know, you thought that it was going to be, you got back together with somebody that you didn't have an overwhelming feeling of love for because of a judgment call connected to their past relationship with you or their old ties with you or something of this sort. Okay. Um, or you lost somebody that you did care for like that. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to look more into it as I, after I pull some more, I want this five of wands here real quick. Um, some of you I feel like are deciding whether to stay in a current connection or fighting about whether to stay in a current connection some of you guys may be fighting about um, money but I feel like you're at a place of indecision about whether to um, whether to hold on to your investments in a relationship with somebody okay now some of you could be literally fighting about investments um lit quite literally uh in particular as to like holding on to investments of one kind or another like one of you wants to sell a house and the other doesn't or the one of you wants to invest in something that the other doesn't it could be basic fights like that um i don't think so for it to be popping up here um especially with these other things but there are some decisions about um, possibly work contracts and or something else that's gone on here that's created some bickering and arguing or that you're willing to um, fight for okay hold on a second what is this queen of wands um, some of you could be breaking up with a Leo or had a Leo that you broke up with in the past, okay, that was very manipulative or been manipulated by a Leo in regards to something, okay, that's showing up here, okay, sun, moon, rising, okay. Um, or you're worried about being manipulated by a, by a Leo, possibly. I have the queen of wands, strength, the world, and the magician in the reverse. Um, give me the justice. Some of you are very sad or have lingering um, sadness about an unplanned pregnancy or the timing of a pregnancy or a baby being involved in something. It could be the loss of a baby. For some reason, if you're like, have deep sadness about the loss of a baby or now some of you could be like, I wanted children and never had them. Am I getting too old? It's possible um, that you think like your time is up or, you know, but some of you are coming out of some sadness as well or realizing the depth of your sadness and I feel like this is a sadness that has lingered a long long time if so some of you um hold on I don't want to say any more on that until I pull some more over here okay give me this um seven of pentacles which showed up over here too give me this seven of pentacles um, let me pull a different deck just in case I have refuters right here okay Again, like I see you, um, 
really at a place of indecision, possibly over a relationship, um, possibly over a breakup or, or finalizing a breakup or something. Yeah, two of cups. Um, two of cups, two of swords. Some of you guys are like unhappy in a current scenario, okay, and wondering what to do about it. Um, some of you, a commitment, breaking a commitment, breaking a marriage, getting out of a marriage, getting out of a commitment, breaking off an engagement, these types of things. Um, some of you could be involved with somebody with Taurus in their chart. Um, the Hierophant is popping here, but I think more than that, it denotes um, whether you're getting um, what you expected to get out of a marriage or major commitment here, okay? Um, what is the tower? And you're like at a crossroads about the decision, or you feel like you made a bad decision to marry somebody. That's also a possibility that I see here. Some of you have like a pathway, but you're afraid it's going to mess up your um, stability, okay, to take, to do something, all right? Some of you um, could be offered something by a um, Gemini, but I think, you know, more than that, there's something here about um, you wanting to create a proper give and take, but being afraid that something is going to blow up now. There could have been um, some manipulative behavior here by the person that you are currently with. All right, give me the Six of Pentacles. You could have um, a mate that is like very jealous or greedy in some way or another or doesn't ever like engage in proper give and take or is very like, um, in, you know, has a big ego, okay, um, in one way or another and is manipulative and it's like a problem teeter tatting around it or something like this, okay. Um, for others of you, for others of you, um, hold on. Give me, the, give me the two of wands. Mm. Mm. For those of you that are going through a breakup, again, I'm getting Scorpio strongly. I feel like um, those, some of you that are going through a breakup or breaking up with a Scorpio or have a Scorpio that's like really created some problems for you. If you have a Scorpio moon or rising or sun, I don't know if you're in here for sun, moon or rising, you need to check that part of your chart because it's like really popping off here. Okay. Um, and uh, I feel like, you know, it's possible that this person had like a huge ego um, or has an opportunity, mm, but uh, there's just, you know, an ending here. Sorry. There's an ending here of some sort or another, okay? Um, or it was ended, or you're afraid that somebody else is going to interfere with something that you want, okay? Now, you could be afraid, you know, just like... Mm, battling walking through a new door of change and though you have the tools to do it and though you have like the ability to succeed on your own you're a very afraid of leaving could be possible okay um could be possible but i see the end of a situation i mean death with the ten of swords literally some of you could have been some of you could have been dealing with a family death as well okay of some sort or another that affected your relationship, like like one of your spouses or you lost like a parent or somebody else that created a bunch of problems and brought like a, a tower, you know, um, realization about your commitment or something like this, okay? What is this? For I don't see that for all of you, but I just want to mention it because it could be, I'm reading for thousands of you at a time and I try and do my best to make sure that I, I hate you guys is... is I'll never hate you all, but I'll try and make sure if I see an alternate story. Um, what is the Six of Wands? I 
I feel like um, if you are leaving somebody, you just have like no more passion for them anymore and like none. Like your passion could have been like kind of killed or your um, like your loving feelings as well as your passion could have left you feeling very discontented. Um, and I feel like the stance in your home, I don't feel it want to say that like you're walking on eggshells or you were walking on eggshells, but I feel like there was a feeling of that. And um, there is a decision here to like go away from it, you know, to let it end something of this sort here. Um, you know, and you may be afraid of um, announcing like a breakup intentions or something, you know, of this sort. God, I've gotten like two that are like on par with this today. Um, but I feel like there's a feeling of discontentness. Um, and in the, in the future, I feel like this, you kind of come out of this and your ability to believe in love or, or, or have love again. Okay. Um, you know, it, it changes. Um, now, some of you that are in, um, if you are like in a military or anything like that career, you could have some sort of when police force, any kind of like armed services, something of this sort, or just compete training wise or a trainer or something like this. There may be like an uh, it, there may have been a previous injury in which you regain your health and for whatever reason this affected your relationship or you're staying in a relationship, okay? Um, all right, um, but I do see you coming out of anxiety period to um, try again at something, all right? And I feel like it has to do with love. I mean, some of you could be afraid to sleep with somebody new or, or offer your love to somebody again because you had such a bad fucking past with this past person. But I see you thinking about it and wanting it, you know, so just saying, um, what is this? But here with your hopes and your fears, I have a seven of cups that tells me like you're afraid of being disillusioned again. And this could have to do with, um, like seeing somebody you're really attracted to and you would like to reach out to, but feeling too afraid to do so, or wondering if you've weighed up your own emotional, um, ideals in the proper way, like what you've weighted, um, of value and in terms of relationships, um, you know, maybe you valued money too much or status or something of this sort. Okay. And you want to make sure that you can, um, either match with your ideals with somebody new that you date or, um, or that, um, you aren't like that you're seeing something right, that you can trust something. Okay. And I feel like that trust something is with yourself. Okay. And it's as to, ultimate happiness. Yeah. I do feel like it has to do with ultimate um, happiness and exploring your options as to what ultimate happiness is in a family environment um, and not being disillusioned. Okay. And again, um, there could be, there could be a child here that you are um, worried about like worried about if you leave a relationship, whether that will negatively impact that child, something of this sort, okay? Particularly if it's a fire sign child. Others of you could be afraid to date somebody with children or afraid to date, um, or afraid to date because you have children, something of this sort, okay? Um, others of you, I feel like, I feel like some of you don't want to be fucked up from like your parents thing and you're like actually like wondering like do I even recognize like healthy versus non-healthy, something of this sort. Okay, give me the hair fun here. I feel like some of you are... Um, dropping a commitment with somebody that either is um, dropping some codependencies, dropping your own feelings of obsession about why you are or are not happy in regards to commitments. If you had fears of commitment, I feel like you're dropping your fear of commitment. Um, but for some of you, there was a drop of a, of like bondage and codependent previously codependent relationships here. Okay. And um, you may like move to cut that quickly because of your discontent 
or communicate on that quickly, very quickly. Um, I don't want to say hasty, but I feel like if some of you um, got into a commitment very, very fast, you may break it quite as just as fast, something like this, or move to get back together with somebody that then it didn't work out with, you may break it very quickly. And I feel like you're going to take action to do that, okay? Or, you know, and this could be just, you know, in the own, in the own mind, but I feel like it's a lot more than that here. Some of you could be involved with a Taurus or have a Taurus sun, moon, rising. Yeah, no, I think some of you are just like, yeah, letting go of like a commitment, like quick, <laughs> like quick after this tower. Okay, some of you um, could be involved in some sort of um, end of like legal affairs and some of you could have been, again, hanging on to somebody that it has um, Libra and or Libra and or Scorpio or a sun, moon, or rising here um, that you like let go of um, towards another commitment, okay? Sun, moon, rising, all right? And, you know, again, um, there could be somebody with some Capricorn placements here as well, um, but I feel like there is some codependent, major codependency issues in the past, prior relationship, if you're getting out of one, and feelings of discontent, which you like move to get out of very swiftly once you move. And you may like meet, you know, I feel like there's going to be communication involved in um, something you're communicating here about the codependency of the relationship and or about your own feelings of unfulfillment and the commitment. Um, some of you could be um, leaving a, uh, a Taurus, but I don't, I don't think so. Um, you know, take it as it resonates. Taurus and Scorpio are opposite seven, seven signs. So for them to be popping up, I feel like there's some duality going on with you and your partner or your ex-partner here. That was just like um, some sort of like opposite poles kind of feel to me. Um, opposite poles. Um, but there was something here where you felt like you were just sitting in something because you deserved it. I don't know why that would be, but... Um, Maybe because you made a commitment to it, something of this, something in this regard. But I see a definitive blow up and definitive ending. But at the same time, um, you know, thinking about bringing a loving offer, which is kind of weird because I feel like you want to bring it to somebody else. Okay. Now it could be that if this breakup was a long time ago and you'd been with a person for a long time that you're just, you know, afraid to try again. All right. Um, but I see you doing it and I also feel like something may have happened at work that was like I don't know if you met your partner at work or you had something going on with work either with the justice system or some sort of um, process at work um, that was I don't know if you were afraid that it would affect your job if you left somebody I don't know how anybody could have a hold on your work unless you worked with them okay um, which is you know a definitive possibility that you worked with them you know, um, that they were involved in your business somehow, sorry, um, in a way that then kept you further entrapped in the relationship, but, um, I see that breaking down, but again, I also saw, um, some, a lot of either Leo in your chart or somebody else's chart popping up over here, I feel like it's somebody else, okay, there may have been competitiveness, jealousy, cattiness that interfered with something that you wanted, but then I feel like if it did, that you felt like it was your fault that something happened or that you got yourself stuck in something. But I feel like now you're like, nah. But the only thing is, is that um, I feel like if you are considering a breakup that you're real worried that you'll regret it later, like are you making the right decision or something? Is it the right is it the right thing to let a family scenario die? Sorry. Ooh, this was heavy. So was the last one. But hey, these are not for these are not for like I mean these these are specifically I do for people that are kind of singled or troubled. But sometimes I get somebody that's like, you know, totally single pop up, you know, with like I don't know, they got their own, you know, 
um, things going on, you know, but it, you know, the past two readings I've done, they're like kind of tend to be breakup and high commitment or long-term relationships that have come up. So anyways, enjoy your, um, Christmas. I will be doing or Hanukkah or whatever it is you're celebrating around the holidays. Um, I will be doing check-ins. I'll be doing your big extended too. Okay. I'll see you later. Aqua. Aries, how are you? I wanted to do a quick um, check-in for Singled and Troubled in Love. The last two I did, I like, like I had to like clear the energy, but I'm just trying to get on with this for you guys and um, pull some of these. All right, I still have a lot of extendants to do, and I want to. I'm going to be doing a new moon reading, and I'm going to try and do that way in advance because it's on the 23rd, um, and it's going to be, it's going to be a big one, you know, for new beginnings. Okay. Anyways. Um, I want to talk about my Aries. You had an excellent, I feel like you had a really good extended read um, this month, okay? And you're definitely, you know, at a time of heightened emotions around the 7th. I'm sure you felt it within two weeks after. You're popping here with a th uh, an emperor. It's in reverse. I don't like to read reversals in here. I'll take a look at it in the context of everything. Um, unless they fall out as reverse, I don't like to read reversals in here. Um, Mm. your wish fulfillment is crossing you what do you want what do you want that you do not have money hook up what is it patience Reconciliation, what's, what's going on? Brand new beginning, but you're worried. You're obsessing over something. Or you have somebody on your mind that's a Capricorn, possibly. Okay? Or you're suffering from some sort of um, clash with the um, Saturn Uranus square that's still pretty tight, tight enough to feel, although it probably eased. Um, but I think the biggest thing is going to be with your, you're not waiting anymore. Some sort of new beginning. Um, some of you guys could have had a breakup in the past, okay, and be a little bit far off from that breakup now or some sort of um, new beginning here, okay. Um, some of you, you know, I see you here very, um, very like nurturing and fertile, like, I don't know. I feel like, you know, some of you guys maybe like, some of you may be married, but some of you may be um, just, you know, holiday time can bring on feelings of nurturing and wanting to cook and all these things that I see you in that kind of state of um, just loving everything around you um, as much as possible or wanting to. Um, whether you have that now or not, I'm not sure. Some of you could be watching somebody or somebody could be watching you that has an air, that has air in their chart or somebody could be sad. You you know, that has air in their chart, okay, that you feel is like kind of in the background. I don't know if some of you guys have like a lingering X that's after you. Um, could be. Could be. But I feel like whatever you've been waiting on in terms of your wish fulfillment, I don't know if you've been waiting on a relationship or you're thinking about um, past relationships or bondage or like not wanting to be in a sucky relationship, but I feel like um, some of you guys at some point within the last year had a new beginning, either a breakup that led to a new beginning or some sort of new beginning here that was pretty tangible, maybe a change of work, change of home, something of this sort. Okay. Um, I see a uh, hope, all right, and a fear around a four of wands. So some of you guys may be um, afraid of, you know, getting married or... Um, afraid of large success in one way or afraid of reaching a milestone or you want it so bad that you're afraid of it with this devil up here you may want it so bad that you're you know might be something here all right um or you may um hang on a second give me this emperor some of you um may be father or may be um, independent of your father, okay? Um, some of you may be very um, committed to your independence, 
um, in one way or another, okay, um, may have gotten your, you know, like your, in, you know, your independence from, from something here that was, um, again, maybe some of you guys had a breakup within the past year and then got a new place, something. Okay. Um, I feel as if some of you may have worked to, um, had some sort of new beginning either in work or a job that was pretty tangible, some sort of financial offer, maybe um, a windfall of some sort, um, like a bonus or a new job or, or something like this, some sort of new beginning here, okay? Um, it may have left you feeling emotionally tied to something or you may be um, worried a little bit. I see you in a good place in the heart space because in the heart space I have temperance, which is excellent. You know, that's a lot of um, peace and balance and serenity. So I feel like your heart and your emotions are in the right space, but your head is driving you a little nutty, okay? Which can happen, especially considering you had that um, full moon conjunct with Mars, your ruler, and Gemini, okay? Um, could have felt a little all over the place or really emotional about things that you really want or are passionate about, okay? Um, and Empress is popping here with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Um, some of you may be waiting on um, somebody or um, thinking of taking action um, towards somebody. You know, some of you literally could be waiting um, on something with somebody that has like, um, that, that represents your ultimate, you know, divine feminine or feminine energy, okay? Or somebody with some prominent uh, Taurus or Libra in their chart, okay? Um, some of you... Um, could have been waiting on an apology from this person due to some hasty actions or words or wrongs that they did against you or something like this. But I see you um, very serene about it, like a very serene stance, but at the same time, you'll take action if you need to. Like you're warm and fuzzy, but if you need to, you've got a sword, something like this, okay? Um, what is this, um, what is this, give me this nine of cups. I feel like some big wish fulfillment or you're working on a wish fulfillment in regards to your career, um, you know, and um, some of you could have, some of you could have felt like um, you're gonna piss somebody off because of something with your career or something, something of this sort. Some of you may want, um, some of you, if you're single and you really want a relationship, you could be like lonely. Um, or you could have faced some sort of argument or, or problem. You could feel like you're chasing your wish fulfillment presents a problem to other people or you may lose a relationship if you follow your own wish fulfillment. I'm sorry. Um, give me the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of promise here in the past, okay? Um, you guys could have lost somebody or had the end of a relationship. You could have lost somebody through death. Um, and though, like, you had a new beginning, they're attached to it of some sort. There could have been a lot of old ugly stuff or ugly stuff associated with this ending that brought on a great deal of sadness for you because of something very unhealthy about whatever died before the new beginning came. You could have been involved with somebody with some Scorpio or Capricorn in their chart, okay? And you could have felt like everything just fucking everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, something like this, okay? Um, but this devil is like on your mind right now. So is this person still around or is this thing still around? What is this devil? Whew. been like if you were in a big relationship some of you may have waited to get into another commitment or be like thinking about an old commitment or the ending of it um to do with um somebody that possibly you know again i've already mentioned capricorn i also see some some taurus here and um 
somebody with prominent Neptune, but um, there could have been, I don't want to say like drinking your sorrows away, but there could have been somebody here that was kind of um, drinking their sorrows away um, or, you know, very lonely about the close out of a commitment or obsessed with whether they were ever going to be in a commitment again or something of this sort, okay? Um, now, this could be related to some other person where the relationship went south because of codependency or bondage or something like that and you don't ever want to get into something like that again. So you've been waiting to offer, you know, or get into another relationship because the last one, okay? Just like different cards, kind of quasi themes here, but I don't see, although I do see, hold on, give me this three of, um, give me this three of wands. Some of you have uh, had this pop up in like the past three readings and sometimes these are all about single people, but, um, if some of you have been waiting or holding on to a spouse um, or holding on to the idea of waiting to go after someone or, or holding on to something, I feel like you're going to let go of, of waiting on somebody here in the future. I don't know if somebody disappointed you that's in your past, that owes you something still, or this is about family. I see you very tied up in work, and I also see the possibility of something materially that you very much want. Um, and some of you may have changed what you do as well. Um, normally I don't get so much, um, normally I don't get so much career energy, but there's a lot of independence and career energy that's showing up in this reading. Um, for instance, with that emperor, I got the moon and the nine of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. I feel like you're very emotionally invested into your work. You're, you're, it may take an emotional toil on you and, um, you may own your own business or be your own boss or be ahead of something. Okay. Um, and there may have been some emotions tied to something to do with work or just waiting for your ships to come in to do with work, okay? At the same time, there may be some partnership or old relationship that got fucked with because of a third party scenario, somebody else involved with the business or partnership, um, or you see, um, or you're afraid of some sort of somebody coming and fucking with you at the same time you're changing, you're chasing your own wish fulfillment over something. Whew, okay. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Ooh, dang, snap. This is gorgeous. Um, on this Queen of Pentacles, I have the Six of Rods, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Rod Swords in reverse. That's freaking unbelievable energy. That is like um, a victory. You may have um, a public victory in one way or another um, insofar as, you know, a big win at work or accumulation of wealth or a release of any restrictions that were once placed on some sort of issue to do with family. Um, that also tied in with money. Um, I see you coming out of any restrictions with that very well. Okay. And, and it, it's victorious for you in one way or another. If, if somebody else tried to bind you, that may go back on them, something like this. Okay. Um, and what's in the environment that you may or not be aware of. This is what's so interesting is this eight of swords. Somebody else is tied up. Somebody else feels trapped, restricted, you know um, victimized, um, stuck in some sort of slavery. I don't know if it's because of something they did to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone, someone, um, maybe trapped in a relationship and or a marriage. Okay. Um, but you know, I feel like if they are, they may be getting out of that, but they may have trapped themselves somehow. And, um, you know, there may have been, it's like a bad marriage. I don't know if this is an ex of yours or what, but I feel like they're all trapped up in something here, um, that they kind of manifested. Okay. Like they put themselves in a bad spot somehow or another here, somebody in your environment. Okay. Um, 
now this could have been you realizing also that um, the ways that you've entrapped yourself or not wanting to trap yourself, um, avoiding something or having something illuminated in regards to um, a, a foundation and how it once restricted you, um, a home or something like this and manifesting your way out of that, okay? Um, and I do see you absolutely doing that if that's true, okay? Now, I also feel like there is some... Um, Give me this. I feel like you want a very like happy, happy marriage, happy commitment, happy life. I don't feel like I feel like it's okay, it's something you're willing to fight for. Okay. Um I feel like a lot of you are very engaged in work right now. However, um I feel as if um, I hate, you know, what I want to say here is like you're letting go of, of waiting around or holding on to old pain, jealousy, um, cattiness, brattiness, something like this in a marriage. Like you're not going to be in a committed relationship unless um, it's positive. I don't know, maybe you like made a promise to yourself or something like this. Um, and I see you very committed to it. Okay. Um, if you were on the fence about, I feel like you want to, hang on a second. What is this five of pentacles here? Um, if some of you are contemplating a breakup, you know, because of money or because of other things, I see that you're going to walk away and, you know, somebody else may be feeling sad here about it, but I see you doing it. Um, I see you feeling a little bit, um, like you may have like a temporary, um, lull in loneliness or sadness or something like this, but I feel like you're releasing old sadness from old mourning. Okay. Like if you, we're waiting on somebody to do the right thing by you and they never did. I don't think you're going to be waiting much longer. Something of this sort here. That's pretty freaking prominent here. Hold on. What is this? Um, what is this five of cups? I feel like some sort of contract didn't work out with somebody or it's like a cycle is closed on an old relationship here. I feel like this person may be very sad. It may have been something that you, you know, it's like a feeling of, um, well, that sucks, but you can't control it all. Okay. Something of this sort. You cannot control it all. And I feel like, um, there's only so much you can do for a dead situation on an old relationship something of this sort, okay? You may have left somebody out in the cold or need to leave somebody out in the cold to close a certain chapter of your life, okay? Um, and, it, and, and I don't see it that it's something that you did. It's just um, something that, you know, happened, okay? And um, I see you coming out of... <sighs> coming out of... Um, poverty if you were in some, okay, later, like if you had struggles or had to get back on your feet because you had a breakup or something like this, I see you coming out of it, although somebody else may be stuck in that, and I see you kind of blocking out negative energy. I feel like somebody here, um, some old commitment that you're in, that you were in a long time ago or something like that, tries to reach in and put their claws on you sometimes like to bind you or something and I feel like you're not even invested in it anymore so um you're putting up like guards to block against that or away from that you know um towards what you want and what you deserve okay and um if you're waiting on somebody that left you out in the cold like I don't see you waiting on that person anymore and I, if somebody is like messing with you or reaching around in, into your shit, I don't know if somebody's 
I see you, um, you know, dating again, it's time. Like if you've been trying to make a decision on whether to get your feet wet again, it's time. Because I feel like this is shutting down and I, this is old. Um, but I feel as if um, there was some F shit here. Um, and I feel like you're a little bit obsessive about, um, you know, I don't know why you're um, afraid to get involved romantically or show your romantic side or something like this. But I feel like it's because of old bondage that was closed out related to a prior um, commitment or something like this. Um, okay. But I, I feel like you are going to. I feel like you're coming out of a lot of restrictions, okay? You're chasing your own wish fulfillment a lot of, um, dang. And I feel like you're going to be moving at a very fast clip. I mean, I feel like this already came up in your regular reading. Um, some of you may meet somebody else with um, a, a prominent Mars or in which you have Mars connections with or you're just using Mars as a driving force in your life right now to chase your wish fulfillment. Those of you that speak for a living in any way um, would be highly favored at this time as well. Um, you know, you, in any of you that have any air in your chart, you know, you, you're going to be trining off with anything in Gemini um, where Mars is, and Mars has been there for quite a long time. Um, your ruling planet. So that's just a lot of freaking energy. Um, I feel like you're going to be moving at a fast clip. If somebody comes around that you're interested in, I would say take the bait. They look very mature. Um, they look like, it's like something about, it's about fucking time you took care of yourself and chased your own wish fulfillment. And I feel like there's a lot of things that you let go of here in the past, um, due to a breakup or a death in the family or something where there was a new beginning. Um, I feel like not all things about this made you happy, whether it was the loss of somebody or other stuff in the family that went down. Um. I feel like somebody may try and come back around to you because they're sad and they miss you and I feel like you're going to be like, so sorry. Like, I feel like this person already showed their ass to you, already fucked up with you bad enough that you can't really take them back in ever in that way, nor do you feel that, that way anymore. Okay. That's all I have for you, Aries. Enjoy it. All right. I will see you um, soon. Some of you guys, you know, again, may have like some big reward because of something that's coming up with business as well. Um, a bonus, um, some big win, some big sale, some big thing. Um, and some of you could be thinking about playing the field, but not really wanting to or something of this sort. I don't really, you know, I feel like when you invest love-wise, you'll invest love-wise. I don't think you need to be afraid of that. Um, I don't think that you need to feel guilty about choosing your own wish fulfillment on a love basis or um, yeah, on a love basis um, or, or with your actual business. You know, I don't think that, you know, the signs are good here. I mean, I feel like it's other people's restrictions or feel, fear in regards to something from the past that you broke away from here. That would be the only thing. Like the only, um, I don't want to say the only thing to fear is fear itself, but I feel like in this sense, like the sky's the limit here, you know, especially with Jupiter that's going to be re-entering your sign. Um, you know, the only person putting, that can put restrictions on you is you. Something of this sort. Okay. I will see you later. Bye, Aries.